On the quest to keep my mental health sanity in check, I have to be honest with myself. At first, I thought joining was complete BS and it's just a boring chore. Until it wasn't. So there are tons of journaling methods out there. A dream journal, a to-do list journal, a food journal, a habit tracker. The keyword here is track. So then I ditched bullet journal and switched to digital journaling and this is what happened during the 30 days. How I tried digital journaling in those non-linear note-taking apps. Rome Research Obsidian and Remnote. Hello, my name is Priscilla and welcome back to another video. Since the panini began, getting locked up in this concrete white jungle here is not fun at all. That I kind of feel like a zoo animal sometimes. Aren't we always been told and by our mom and dad and society we have to be an early bird and start the day right and just turn the wheel of capitalism? Would you like to play capitalism? Something isn't right, but I can't pinpoint what the negative emotion is coming from. And sometimes have gone by and again, I've swept this problem under the carpet. I used the method of working myself to the bone to anathize myself as a workaholic that none of those emotions exist. I feel like I'm trapped inside a dark negative emotion box where I'm just slamming on the walls. It's like a bat who has their ears covered and their echolocation doesn't work. After nights of crying and doing the and suppressing my emotions and having bursts and mental breakdowns, I have to accept and acknowledge my emotions of heartbreaks without judgement. And the key here is without judgement, even on negative emotions. The issue here is that I need to connect with my true self. And then I came to the second conclusion is that if I'm too smart to be happy, that if I'm successful I have to be unhappy because if I'm unhappy I'll be desired to get more. Is this true? And let's continue this fact check. So the problem here to solve is that having a self-awareness check system. So I have came up with two criteria for designing this journaling system in the daily documents of Obsidian, Remnote, or Rome research. The first one is design has to be applying to the lazy logic. By lazy logic, I mean that humans have the tendency to minimize their energy output to the desired outcome. I have to listen to my lazy self. The exciting Priscilla who is very anticipated and the scheduling queen with dopamine hit will not appear when the work is supposed to be done. So many things to do on the calendar. And enjoys the art of doing nothing. If I follow my lazy self, the second criteria is that this method has to stick in the long run because I enjoy it as my lazy self. Let's call the trial run for a month. A journal is a completely unaltered voice in me. Lucy Dukas. The first method of journaling is bullet journal. I did this around for a year, but my hands just swissed like crazy. So I don't think this method is going to stick with me for the long run. I kind of scrapped after a year. Priscilla, congratulations for your long perseverance for a year with bullet journaling too. The next one that I came across is day one. Day one doesn't work because I just don't like the annoying functions of tons of templates and presets. It feels the same thing as a chore. I just have to fill out those worksheets and templates of questions every single day for keeping track of my emotions. Just kicks me away from day one. Since the friction is so high, none of those are gonna work. After two times of failure, I didn't give up searching. And dun dun dun, after two runs of trial, I have came across this new idea called just-in-time journaling. I actually named this version just-in-time journaling myself. Interstitial journaling was the original name by Tony Sublenbein. An interstitial, this word let me think of an interstitial fluid, just a typical biology mind. So this method of bullet journaling combines to-do list, work logs, and mood tracking. It's really straightforward, but it has a structure yet so versatile and fits my lazy self. It is dead simple like this. What's this hand ballet? <laughs> when we first open those non-linear note-taking apps, we always have a daily document. For Obsidian, first add the daily notes and template plugin from the setting icon in the bottom right corner. Customize your shortcuts for the daily notes and template trigger. To access the daily docs, head to the sidebar and click on the, on the calendar. To make a template, add a note to, into the template folder and trigger the template by the shortcut that you have created. And add this into your daily document to start journaling. In RedNote, Let's create a template page and add the template title for this as interstitial journaling. Then then tab each bullet point of how you want to structure your journal template and then change your bullet point into a slot. The invisible square on the side means that the change is successful. Go to your daily document by pressing option plus D and add in the template by using the hashtag function and insert all the slots. Ta-da! 
and in Roam Research, it's directly on the sidebar. To access the daily document, simply click on the sidebar. So to create a template, tag any bullet point with hashtag Roam slash template and then press the semicolon to trigger the template list anywhere in the database. After the daily document is on screen, I will type slash and current and the timestamp in the 24 hour format will appear. Enter tab to type what I'm doing right now. If I use my interstitial journaling template, it has three parts. I've done, I strive for, I'll do, and I'm feeling. Just a little template for me to check in with myself what I'm doing to bring my awareness and mind back to the being. This is called mindfulness in dialectal behavior therapy. Or sometimes I simply just don't use template because I don't feel like it. And this is the first part of the just-in-time journaling. After the day goes by to around afternoon or nighttime, I will collapse those bullet points and write, I am a professional overthinker. And the brain is a really magic organ like this. And this just in time journaling is for daily journaling. And then after a week have passed by, I would use the RRN method for weekly reviews. Because as Tiago Forte and the GTD author says, weekly review is one of the most important system checkpoints for us to keep our productivity system going. And reflect, revise, next is also dead simple. For this workflow, I bring up all the dates of the week and have a side document open called weekly journaling. And I use the template function in those apps. I will bring up the journaling template of reflect, revise, next in those. Reflect means that I will go over what went well and not well in this week. And it can be from any area of my life. Some parts of my life can be screenwriting, how YouTube statistics and videos are going, my mental health check relationships, or even sleep hours. And yes, everybody's life is as complicated as this. This is the revised part where I come up with improvement action plans for the future. They can include improve my workflow and be having a peaceful mind, sleep more hours, or I need to be less achievement oriented and put less of my self-worth on my achievement every single day because I tend to be a person with perfectionism and that is choking on my neck. Um, mostly they're just reminders and things I need to be aware of to continue to improve. Next, it's kind of like the future log. In this part, I just dump out any events or projects that I need to do for the upcoming week events. So I tend to do my reflect, revise, next weekly review on Sunday night or Monday morning. And here is an example of what I did. So here are some of the benefits that I've found with just-in-time journaling after I've been doing it for a month. The first one is it does not feel like a chore. I actually look forward to this thing. I will use just-in-time journaling to continue my flow of thoughts and things that I need to do next. It's like my running thought as a tap of water that I don't cut the pipe off. And I can stop my impulsivity of checking YouTube or Instagram. I can directly see how the word choice of my thoughts affect my feelings. If I use this really criticized voice and talk to myself, I will use this way to think and my body will respond with a really shameful reaction and keep on putting down my self-worth. This is just putting conditional happiness. There's nothing that is this black and white because in life, everything is on a gray spectrum. And the second one is I track my time. And duh, this one is so obvious. And then the third one is track my tasks. It's a continue of how I track my time. I can let my to-do list grow as I think of things. When I think of this task, I'll just tie it to the area of life. And then the fourth one is awareness of content consumption because everybody have a information diet. This allows me to be extra intentional with how I spend my attention. And I don't want to be controlled by them. I'm aware of my choices and how those apps affect me. At this era, I think the most important thing is to have a clear mind instead of getting controlled by all those apps. For fifth one is track popping ideas. Whenever I am thinking, my mind is just bouncing around like, like a bunch of bingo balls, I will have ideas that come if they are cooking on the slow burn simmer for a long time. They might turn into a great video like this. Remember, I've thought about that. Will unhappy people be productive? After trying this just-in-time journaling and weekly review journaling method, my answer is no. By suppressing all my negative emotions, I have discovered that I cannot have a peace mind. And without a peaceful mind, I cannot make accurate judgments. If I'm right than average 10% of the people on YouTube, I can make better videos. Well, I won't be working as hard as my unhappy self, but I'm sure I'll be having a better life. So if you're interested in some of those other videos and note-taking and gain, gaining mental clarity, please check them out.
Remember that happiness is a choice and a skill to be trained. Be, be attention with your attention and bye bye. See you guys next time.